Go. <laughs> okay, um, we've chosen this area in the right uh, buttock and uh, we've ma mapped out some guidelines, some guide points here, so we'll get into the right place and decrease the risk of any particular um, complication, which could be sort of injecting into a nerve or a blood vessel. Um, puts an antiseptic solution on the skin. Um, and then we adopt a sterile technique. We're going to uh, use some local anesthesia here. Two or three cc's of 1% xylocaine is usually all we need. Use a tiny needle to insert it. It's a Botox needle, it's the smallest we have. 30 gauge needle. So you're gonna get a little stick and stinging here. And we're going to put this in uh, subcutaneously. Uh, so we've got to create a little bit of a space. Lisa has very, very little fat tissue here. So we've got to make sure we get good Lisa, do you anesthesia. feel that? No. Nope. The lidocaine has a little epinephrine in it, which decreases the chance of blood loss. Can you bring that a little closer to me? Use a small uh, number 11 blade. Is this uncomfortable at all? Nope. A small incision here. And we put the trocar, which will carry the medication into the tissue. Um, so we just grab hold of the tissue because it's better to get it in subcutaneously here. And go in about three or four centimeters in that area. And then pick it up and put the progesterone and the estradiol in. So those, those are the pellets? Those are the pellets. And that will just, just get deposited in, in there. And bring it out. And that's it. Gonna put a cherry strip on the skin, tiny little incision there. That's it. That was so easy. How long and is that in it. there for? It's gonna be there for th about three months. Three. It's gonna slowly dissolve. Okay. Uh, the reason why we have to be cautious about the dose is it's really hard to go in there and dig around and take them out mm -hmm. if we feel like we've got too much. Okay. Cool. Lisa. Easy. Piece of cake. Easy. Yep.